Can you say hi to Joe? That's a man. My name is Joe Firestone and I'm afraid of ghosts. They're scary, <laughs> creepy, <laughs> and most of all spooky. But don't sit on them. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay. But also they were once humans, just like you and me. Do you like to party? Yes. Okay. Well, mostly. It has about four legs and two arms, and it crawls on the walls. So I decided to face my fears head on and meet these ghosts face to face. I made my way to the Shanley Hotel, one of the most haunted places in North America, to better understand these ghosts, and hopefully become a little less afraid of them. First opening in 1845, the Shanley Hotel has a long history of paranormal sightings and has been visited by historical icons like Eleanor Roosevelt and famous ghost hunters like Sam and Colby. Like this video, this is gonna be insane. Functioning as a hotel, bar, and bordello, the Shanley was home to many gruesome and tragic incidents, making the Shanley one of the most haunted places in the U.S. In 2018, the hotel began offering tours under new management to show off the spooks and scares. Hi, Joe. Yes, Kelly. Hi, Hi. I'm nice Kelly. How you, you doing? Hello. Come on in. Okay. Started coming here in 2011 as a guest. And, you know, when I first walked in the hotel, it kind of felt like home. Now it is my home because I live here. <laughs> you live in the hotel? Yeah, I do. You live here every day. <laughs> <laughs> we have probably over 40 spirits, known spirits here. We have mean ones, happy ones, sad ones, children, serial killer. Yeah. It's a dysfunctional family, but it's my second family. I've been choked. I've been scratched. But I think that was them just saying, don't get so comfortable here. Even now, they don't want you to get comfortable. Probably not. No, this is their hotel. They've been here first. This is their home. Hopefully it's going to be interesting enough for the spirits to come out to talk to us. And who knows if we want to be interesting. It's always interesting. Have a positive energy going in and you'll be fine. Do you think I have a positive energy right Yes, now? absolutely. Okay. They do like people that are nervous. So I'm not, you'll be great. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. And so if I was saying, I'm scared, would you say no need or would you say you should be? I mean, I've been scared. You see me running, you probably should run. <laughs> How fast is a ghost? I was hoping that some of the more experienced staff members could put my mind at ease. This is the silent room, room number four. Uh -huh. It's my least favorite room to sleep in. <laughs> okay, I guess I wonder why. Can you tell like, when you walk in a room if there's something there? Yes, I am a spiritual medium as well. I don't want to know the answer, but I want to ask, mm -hmm. do you feel something right now? Not in here. Oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, cool. Some people think that if they give you certain sensations, it's because they're trying to hurt you, but it's actually not. They're just trying to talk to you and give you their story, let you know what happened to them and their feelings. Pretty much the rule that I've realized is that if you are evil in life, you're going to be evil in death as well, uh. which is why the one up there is a serial killer. If Adam, a serial killer, tells us to leave, we need to leave immediately. That on is God. bizarre. On God. He's not very nice. <laughs> um, he's choked me. He's bruised me. Okay, so there's ghosts. Are there other... Inhuman spirits? Yeah. Yes, there are. There's demons, there's elementals. Okay, let's just go back to demons. What, mm -hmm. we, uh, I'm afraid of mm -hmm. demons. How do you know the difference between a ghost and a demon? The ghosts are more interactive with you. Demons don't want you to know that they're there. For me, they give a really sick, nauseous, almost like pulling your intestines out is what it feels like for me, but it can be a different sensation for somebody else. Demons are not here, right? Not right now. <laughs> but there's not demons in this. Not right now. <laughs> what is it? What do you, why do you keep answering you like? <laughs> I build many of the machines and stuff that I use here. I am now trying to develop ability I think every person has abilities, they just have to develop it. Yeah. Where Chuck is very talented and he already came with all his arts. Chuck, yeah, what's your, what's your arts? I've been doing this stuff since I was like six, so I can see the dead, talk to the dead, basically any form of energy that can be seen, I'll notice it. Uh -huh. I will tell the spirits to literally go after them, predict the future, 
absorb people's emotions, see auras. I will look people in the eye and pull out their deepest, darkest secrets. There's been plenty of times where guests have even come in and their loved ones have been walking with them. Uh -huh. And they may not want to tell me their full story, just maybe a short little message. And sometimes I'm sitting with them forever. So you'd call yourself an extrovert? Being around such skilled ghost experts put my mind at ease, and I felt ready to meet these ghosts face to face. Is there anybody here who would like to speak with us right now? F. R. E. D. Fred? Yes. Okay, Fred. Is there anything you want to talk to Fred about? Uh, what's going on? What's what's going on, Fred? I. A. M. D. E. A. D. It says I'm dead. Okay. Well, we there. can leave the room now. Yeah, you can. That's awesome. You're cold. Yeah. Well, let's leave the room now. It's too dark. Oh, you want okay, me to go? Okay. Let's all okay. go. Come on. Here we go. Come on. All right, ghost, you can come too. No! After having one of the most unpleasant conversations of my life, I decided it was time to keep it moving. First stop, the basement. I've heard bad things about this basement, just uh, FYI. There are a couple portals down here too. How do you feel about it? Good, really good. No. I'm gonna just Why is turn changing colors. Which one? Mm. So TJ, if that's you, could you turn that back off for us? Okay, mm. thank you. Mm. Uh, mm. Who else is usually down here, Jonathan? Paul? TJ? Dad, my shoulder's starting to hurt right now. Let's, okay. say, let's say our goodbyes and we said, um, let's kind of explore the rest of the home. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's go, okay, goodbye. Up, up, up. The area we're going to go to is the bordello, which was the brothel. Um, one of our spirits said this to one of our guests. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that was the spirit screaming, she's a bitch. Whoa. Don't worry, Joe, they like you. Mm. Well, welcome to the bordello. Mm -hmm. This is where I've gotten choked twice. So we have Rosie, the little girl. We have her dad, Peter. We have Maddie, Anna, and sometimes the creeper. The creeper. What is, what is the creeper? So the creeper creeps, he just watches. This one? Scans through FM station, live FM station. So let's just see if we can get anything. Can you talk to us? Scott. Scott. Yep. Hey, what's up? He just said your name. What's up, Ghost? How are you? I'm getting touched. What are your thoughts on being up here and possibly talking with the spirits? True. I'm trying to keep my body. Um, Functioning. These are real people we're talking about, right? Of course. And you probably wouldn't be afraid of a woman named Anna came out here to talk to you, right? No. So why don't you, um, you know, ask ask a good question. Um. Don't worry. Don't worry. worry. Anna. Can somebody go sit on your bed? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's let's try the next location, shall we? Why don't we do the, the no, room? No, no, no. Five minutes. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Joe. As appealing as the offer was, I felt it was time to move on with the tour. Let's go downstairs. Are we ready? Why don't you come in? This is just a little gadget. Come on. I insist that I do not come in. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. You're more scared than I thought. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. She's down there freaking out. Is she okay? Oh! I didn't know you were there. This sucked and I was not having fun. However, the steep weekend rates combined with a strict no refund policy meant I couldn't back out now. How many floors are there? Total of three. Does anyone sleep in the third floor? No, no. Why not? You wouldn't want to do that. And now we were going to visit the most haunted floor of the hotel, known for its infamous ghost cat. And to make matters worse, I'm allergic to cats. All right, so um, we're not going in there. This is so scary looking. Now there is a specific chair in this room you can feel free to sit wherever you want. Just please do not sit in the recliner in the corner until you ask his permission. Why does everyone have to be so fucking dark? Joe, are you gonna allow me to sit in your chair? Have a seat. We have our host here. Her name is Joe also. I am not the host. Is she gonna be allowed to sit down here? There was a no. There was a no. There was I, a no. I heard a no. He, I heard a no. No, no, no. Okay. Chuck? 
Are you ready for the next room? Not that one, right? We're not going No, there. we're not going that one. Okay. It's all taped up for safety reasons. Right, right, right. This room is kind of like a hideaway room, I like to call it. I came in this room, I was chased up by Adam, and this was the first room he tried to choke me in. And as I explained, we have a creeper. I cannot tell you what it looks like. We don't really know. It just, it has about four legs and two arms, and it crawls on the walls. It has claws, and you will hear it clawing in this room against the wall. So who else is up here? It's on. It's on. You want Joe to sit in Joe's chair? Huh? Adams. Oh, so he wanted, he wanted everyone in there. No, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. She's, we're gonna go this way. No. Yeah, one more. Fuck. One more room. Fuck. Adam. This is Adam's room. Infamous serial killer. You will feel him touch you. Mm -mm. We've had screaming, we've had stuff get thrown. Mm. Out, he wants us out. Okay, let's relax, go, relax, let's go. Show. Oh, he's fine. Hi. Get, get out. out. Okay, yeah. hold okay, on, it's time. Who do you want to get out? Everybody. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Come the on. whole left side. Okay, yep, right, that's yeah. my side. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's exciting. Well, ghosts still scare the shit out of me, but at least I got my money's worth. And hey, I made a few friends along the way. The fear is real. I trust all of you. I trust what you're saying. I wish I was less afraid. We didn't come here by chance. So we've had an interest in it, and we've had experiences since we were at a young age, and just drawn to it. What just happened? Somebody was talking over there. <laughs> Who was talking? Over there? Don't know, man. If you die one day, do you think you'll be hanging oh, out? Oh, of course. I will have so much fun. Oh yeah, I'll be back here. What, where do you think you'll be hanging out? Just everywhere. Scaring people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>